It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask?
It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? Oh shit, hold on. I've been planked like a piece of wood. <laughs> this is fine. Um, I do wonder something real quick, hold on, before we get in here. Not that. Uh, what's this? I wonder if I can. Oh. Never mind. It'll be fine. I'm probably worried for nothing. Um, last we checked, uh, we were here in the Citadel. We'd essentially caught up with every... Is it loud? It might be. This game, for some reason, I don't know why it's so loud. But... Um... Mass Effect, hello. Oh, I thought it crashed. <laughs> Press Shift F1 to bring the in game overlay to access to the features. Oh, that helps actually. That should help. <laughs> It's Morbin time. Should have named myself Morb. No, I would have been too close to Morbius. So what the fuck was I doing? It oh. Meet with Anderson in the flux. Okay, so. I don't know why I'm up here. After years of poor economic down. performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose wow. sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. We hate corporations, right guys? Fuck Exogeny. All right, uh, loading. <laughs> Let's go find. I think I don't know why it was acting like. Uh, it said flux. Oh, that's not Cora's den. I thought it was saying that we have to go meet the politician in the in the strip club. <laughs> that's not the case. You have arrived- oh, a different nightclub, my bad. 
Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. All right, what's this what kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarian. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. Yeah. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. What? It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? <laughs> Worse, he's an alien sympathizer. Oh, Jesus Christ. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Yeah, try it, dumbass. Ain't nobody gonna buy you your fucking drugs. You should be careful who you say that about. I'd buy him his drugs if he wasn't racist, but... He really messed that one up. Oh, who's this? I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, he's waiting for someone else. Wait! We could have played Quasar! This whole time? I'm so dumb. I thought it wasn't until the second game. We could have done this to get our money. We could have just played Quasar. Ah. Oh. One, add one to eight. It's just Blackjack. Wait, is this against uh, the TOS <laughs> Twitch? Give me a big number. Shit. Give me a bigger number. <laughs> yeah. It's like blackjack, but I think you're trying to get the 19. And that's where one of the keepers are. Damn. Who would have thought Quasar was up here? I really thought that I just like... I don't know why I thought it wasn't here. Damn, I feel so stupid. Can I dance? Does it let me dance in this one? I don't think it does. Hold on, maybe you have to talk to someone to dance. Hey, good to see another human in here. Maybe you can only dance in the second game. I can't fucking remember. Shepard seems a little perturbed that I left her here. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's Captain. <laughs> this is what I'm here for. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Yeah! You have to, you have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Ingenuity. <laughs> Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're going to get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. We're gonna Hopefully kidnap him. He if he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Has he always had, like, a off-center mouse? I never noticed.
You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yep. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. There he goes. All right, guys, let's run. If you've gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. It's my time. time. Yeah, I'm in the club. I didn't realize there was the fucking. It might look that way from the outside, but this I is didn't realize I could. The, they actually had the slot the machines in this game. I could have been gambling this entire time. In order to afford right. Rex's you, armor. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is no finished. trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I. Damn. Yeah. Damn is right. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're. You're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. He needs that stimulant. No, he's asking for fucking uh, Adderall. Like, <laughs> without a prescription. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> go, go to fucking rehab. <laughs> um, so, uh... What's happening right now is we're on lockdown. The ship is on lockdown. We've been grounded. The, the Citadel said, don't go after Saren. We don't know anything about what he's doing yet right now. So we're just not going to do anything right now. We're going to wait for more information. But he's about to do some big shit. So we're stealing oh, our own huh, ship. Garrus. Is this better than c -Sec? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats c -Sec. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Man, I can't wait till we get to Mass Effect 2 because the missions to go get these guys are so fucking fun. God! <laughs> it might only take us like 30 minutes to get through the end of this game, honestly. And then we just do our import into the next one. Stand by, shore party. It takes like 10 minutes to import into the next game. Though I'm used to playing soldier, I might go half tech, half soldier. I'll have to look at what my party comp is. Alright. <laughs> He's breaking into his office. I didn't send <laughs> Let's go! Let's get out of here! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Let's fucking go! <laughs> We're just making a fucking run for it. <laughs> oh no, hold on. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm waiting. I have a safer work screen. <laughs> that I've made specifically because a certain part of this game is about to happen soon. And I don't want to like blindside anybody with it. And I don't know if it would be against Twitch's TOS. So we're just not going to show it. But uh, there's no sound effects, I don't think. So we can just... Um, we should be able to uh, just block the screen and it should be fine. Let's go check on all our companions before we do anything. But I don't think that will trigger anything. I believe I have to go to the location of the final mission to trigger certain oh, things. Oh, damn it. No sign of pursuit. I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. <laughs> I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? I have to go. All right, see you. We're going to get a lot more Joker dialogue in Mass Effect 2 as well. He's uh, He takes a little bit more of an active role. Um, you don't have the council to really speak to because you're no longer a specter because of a technicality. 
and uh, you are not operating under uh, the military either. You are basically a mercenary in Mass Effect 2. So it's going to be interesting to see some more character interactions just that we don't get before. Also, you can finally romance the rest of the fucking aliens in Mass Effect 2, which is going to be so nice. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. Alright, let's go check on our aliens. Make sure there's no final dialogue before our last mission to take care of. There shouldn't be, I don't think, but... I, well, maybe. Maybe there will be. They probably have a, so this is it, huh? Sort of dialogue. Let's start with Tally. Zora and Araya. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. <laughs> I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense. Among Damn. People. He'd probably want to execute us himself. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. And then I think that's it. See you later. For uh, information with her. And then I bet the boys have something to say, so let's see what they have to say. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. <coughs> it's risky, but hopefully it'll pay off. We'll be fine, Garrus. Just be ready when we find Saren. Yes, Commander. Yeah, see, just like a just a simple uh, nod. Stealing an Alliance ship. Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. So long, Rex. Shepard. I might oh yeah we might want to do equipment too see I don't think we got anything else that's better than what we have here ooh 242 assault rifle I might want to give that to Garrus yeah he's got the real good shotgun for a reason oh but we can give him a third modification so let's do High weapon stability. We're moving to 229. Ooh. <laughs> 252. Let's give everybody a car paw. I think we have enough to go around. I don't think he needs a better sniper. I don't really have him use it at all. Biotic. The savant. Cooldown and power bonus. Yeah, let's give him that one. Krogan Heavy Armor. What? Did I pick up one that was just better than what I like spent so much money trying to get? That makes me kind of pissed off. <laughs> Put him on Medical Exoskeleton, and then as the second one do damage, function, shield recovery, and hardening. Okay, Garrus, let's give you... You already have a good assault rifle. Shotgun, you're good. Yeah, let's give you the brawler. Okay, this is the sniper. Yeah, you're good on the 235. I don't think I can give him a better biotic piece. And I don't think I can find him better armor either, damn. Because this just has like a really good base shields. And I probably want to do my equipment too. I don't know if I can from here. Yes, I can. Okay. A 242 assault rifle. Looks good. Give me all that stuff. 
Level 6 detection. Let's do level 7 and then... Ooh, 15% max accuracy. Sounds good. 221, 233... Yeah, I don't need to equip a different shotgun. Let's do some weapon stability. Good on sniper, but I can definitely put an extra piece on there. Heavy armor human. 54 to 312. I'll take it. Medical interface, shields, mobile accuracy, and cooldown reduction. Sounds good. Big brain. Alright, now let's go upstairs and talk to Alenko. We'll just, uh, hope nothing comes of it. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The scene is gonna happen eventually. I just don't remember uh, which what I do that activates it. So we're just gonna proceed with caution. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of what I've wasted you. enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal. We'll talk later. I'd like that. Okay, so personal debriefings are when I actually go to land planet side. Got it. We're going upstairs. And I did save the game just now after messing with everybody's equipment loadouts. Boo! Galaxy map. Zoom out. And we're going to Ilos. Yeah, too far. <laughs> there is only one section on Ilos. I'm like readying my mouse for the safer word filter. Message coming in. Patching it through. Okay. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. I think this is a glitch because I'm not supposed to be receiving a mission from the army when I just stole a ship. How can I help, Admiral? Bionic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if it's, I should... That's why I contacted you. I'll do it. It's just a... It's a very odd time to be given me a mission, unless it is the mission anyways. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put on my blushies. There we go. I'm... I'm <coughs> laying. Uh, uh, where's the screen? Okay, um, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come there on we there. go. <laughs> this will fix it. <laughs> Don't you think we're a little past titles? We're a little past a lot of things. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? You know, we mutinied, stole a prototype. <laughs> I prepared this last stream just in case. I was like, oh shit, I need to make sure that none of the, none of the visuals show on screen. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, me talking over the subtitles must be obnoxious. Keep reminding yourself we're doing the right thing. They don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know... They're having a moment. I've enjoyed serving under you. He took like one step closer to her. I'll like narrate what's going on vaguely, okay? So he took one step closer to her. The camera is at a shot where the, you see that they're kind of like, uh, <laughs> like standing near each other, but it's just like shoulders up. They're both wearing clothes. Nothing's happened yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you see my safer work shield I have here? 
clicking uh, the paragon option. She also stepped closer. I hate like the horror music. I suppose breach of protocol will be pretty far on the list of charges that our courts. I'm taking a sip. Aww. The galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I, <laughs> we are at war right now. And this is what will never happen again. Us, Shepard. I should have put myself in front of the safer word uh, filter. Ooh. You get literally, you, there's literally an option that says this is not the time. <laughs> Is that an order, Commander? This is so fucking funny to me. Um, have I told you guys the story of the first time I ever watched this cutscene? I'm gonna say it on stream because it's really funny. So, um, at an earlier point in this same game, I hate this fucking horror music. At the earlier point in the same game, you can sleep with an Asari consort, and that cutscene is really short. You see, like, maybe their shoulders, and then you see, like, a hand. It's really vague, you know? You have no idea what's happening between you and the consort. That's one of the little romance things you can do, and it's, it's you know, it's, it's implied that they're fucking. So, that was what I thought the Paramore scene was going to be going into it. It's really not that bad. You can, I'm pretty sure you can look it up on YouTube pretty easily. But I just, I just want to be cautious. Um... But I had gotten through the majority of the game. I played it all for the first time in like a week. And at the end of the week, I was getting ready for the final mission. And my uh, younger sister was sitting in the room with me. And I was like, what? I was like 17. And uh, so I, I was expecting like something really, really tame. And I was like, oh, f get ready for the most tame sex scene you've ever seen in your life. And then Shepard's bare ass <laughs> showed up on the screen. And I, I screamed. It was really funny. But yeah. So like um that's the expectation <laughs> that I had going into watching this cutscene. But I'm gonna let it play. I want the paramour achievement. And uh it's super corny and like secondhand embarrassing to watch their dialogue, but the finest I've served with. I don't wanna mess it up. I want Shepard to canonically romance someone. Okay, the cutscene has started. They're like kissing each other, her arms are on him. Oh, they're, they're kissing each other, and someone's arm, and then Shepard's bare ass! <laughs> and then it's just like their faces, and they're rolling around a little bit. It's, it's like the sex scene in Daredevil. It's really not that bad. And then the, the, somebody you know, turns over on their back, and then... I think that's it, actually. I think the scene's over. Yeah, I think the scene's over. It's been a long time since I've met a woman. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the safer work filter. Uh, Caden Alenko is still, like, naked, but, uh, that's fine, I think. <laughs> You're a sweetheart, Caden. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. I swear, though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. Paramore achievement! Yay! That's what we wanted! <laughs> See, if you don't romance anybody, you don't get an achievement. I don't know. Alright, event over. <laughs> Let's go to the boss! God, I can't wait for Mass Effect 2. Because Caden and Linko isn't an option anymore. <laughs> he is removed. Forcibly removed. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've walked. 
Drop us in the maker. So I'm you the navigator. Meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. Taking team boys. Oh. Damn, look at him walking. That's some nice carpet they got. Look, they got the wallpaper. <laughs> I'm coming in right for his ass. We're gonna land the car on his face. Let's go, bitch. Look at how he really tried. He cannot fucking stop me. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Yeah, boy! Alright, we're gonna save because we're planet side. Damn, that was dead faster than I thought it would be. I guess I was looking and it was detecting the health bar of the guys ahead of us. God, this weapon is so much fucking damage. Oh, there he is. But yeah, we gotta make sure everybody's on their proper weapons. Oh, perfect. So I'm assuming we're supposed to go that way. What am I saying? This is the last level. Why am I gonna look for fucking collectibles? the big boys. Come on, shield. Come back. Yeah. Holy shit! I had full shield and health! Oh, damn. Oh wait, don't teleport me back on the ship. I literally just saved it. You're big poopy if you put me back on the ship. Thank you. Alright, they're right over here. Man. Is he trying to shoot through the wall? My man. Absolutely silly. Alright, guys. I'm gonna put you on the tsunami. Just because we're in a. quite a space. It's weird, I don't know if see you guys. I think this will be a little bit better. Where are the guys? They didn't they not spawn yet? Oh, there they go. I love how it's giving me the stats for the other one. You guys, where are my stats? Oh, no shooting me. I'm not here. Shooting me, I'm not here. Oh, he's shooting me. I'm not here. Stop 
walking over here. Big ass. Fuck you. He's <laughs> just, <he's> just looking. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I ain't taking that shit. Who's shooting at Hard decryption. What am I afraid of? Not getting a fucking weapon that I'm oh, not gonna use. Oh fuck, that keeps happening. Okay. I don't think I'm getting this one, guys. Not that Yeah, well. Here. Give me Omni Gel. I'm not gonna use it on anything else. What like what am I hoarding it for if I'm not gonna It's the final level. Do I need to hoard Omni Gel? The answer is yes. Ooh, great. Breaker. There's nothing over here. Maybe I should have given the really nice, uh... Oh, uh, ooh. Maybe I should have given, like, the really nice, uh... Automatic to Rex if I'm just gonna have Garrus on the sniper all day. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? It doesn't seem like it. Oh. Do you have a map? There's the plaza. That's the elevator. Courtyard. Elevator. Landing zone. Okay, so... There's actually nothing beyond here, I guess. There's nothing right there. Who's shooting at us? My man? Got him. Armature control. Ooh. Maybe we have to like disable a few of these things. Square up, motherfucker. Guess he doesn't want to. Where the fuck did he go? Is he really just hiding up there? It's kind of funny. Dead. But <laughs> also dead. Gonna work. Cut that out. Whoa, Cordy! Ah, we're being raided. Fuck. Hello, raiders. Uh, this is the final mission of Mass Effect One. Come on, motherfucker. How's it go? <laughs> is that? That was him peeking out. Got it. Okay. Wait. There was an encrypted thing to do over here before we got shot at. I can totally do this. Wait. No, it went the wrong way. Please, when it's upside down, it confuses me. Wait. You know what, we'll just... We're gonna omni all this shit. <laughs> it's mogging time! Get mogged! Locked crate, finally an easy decryption. Taking those? Oh god, Shepard's glitching out again. Please, Shepard. That's not the correct way. 
I don't know why, I've played Mass Effect at least two other times before this, and this is the only time I've experienced this glitch, and now it's the second time that I've had to deal with it in this playthrough. I don't know what's going on. Please, Shepard. It always has to do with decryption. I wonder if I could- Look! I'll... I'm firing that way, but I'm facing this way. Insane. Uh, ooh, uh, I'll give myself some sniper points. Give him some sniper points. What does this guy need? Uh, shotguns. Oh, there I'm facing the right way now. Trick shot glitch, apparently. <laughs> Watch this no scope. I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm hitting the basketball hoop without even looking. I probably should see if I got better equipment from uh, that crate, but I don't know. Ooh. There ain't nothing up here. I was already up here. Alright, so this looped back around. Ooh. Oh! Loop back around from there. Okay, so now we're going this way. So we're not going down there. Just kidding, it's this way. Damn. All right, did we get... Oh, uh, you almost have 300 items. Well, I hope that doesn't matter when the game fucking ends. All right. Better assault rifle, blah, 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 blah. And we got better what? No better Omni tools, they're all shit. No better snipers, they're all shit. No better shotguns, they're all shit, wow. Better assault rifle for me. I'll take it. Everything else is dog poopy. Alright. I think I'm trying to find security terminals. Uh, I don't remember this at all. I don't remember any of this. Is this it? Enemies are in this direction, so I'm assuming that's where we need to go. Oh. I don't think I can get over this. Oh, oi! Oi! Damn, they got a whole... They got biddies and I can't even see through these fucking plants. Oh! There's the Geth Destroyer on. Alright, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing up here? I can't. Ooh, ooh. Oh! Deleted the fucking crates! Garrus, what was that crate gonna do to you? Oh, there's more from this way. I'm, I'm going the wrong way to take cover, actually. On God. Oh, what's this? Let me make sure there's no more computers I have to get into. Nope, okay. You got this, you got this. What do you have equipped? Uh. Just kidding. That's incorrect. No, that was right. I don't know what I'm thinking. Use biotics on me, I swear to god. Get fucked. Okay, 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 okay. You guys missed the sex scene! I can't believe you got here late. What the fuck is that? How do I get up there? This 
back here? I don't think I'm supposed to go there yet. Hold on. Let's kill everything first. Boy. You ain't supposed to be down here in my fucking face. Oh! No, get back here. It's frogging time. And go back up there. Did you just slide off or did he actually die? I don't think there's anything up here. There's two doors. Inside of you, there are two doors. One leads to a sex scene in Mass Effect and the other leads to... Okay, that's an elevator. That's a thing I don't need. I bet that's what this leads to though, huh? Just kidding, there's like nothing in here for some reason. Oh, it's an elevator. <laughs> That's why there's nothing in here. Holy shit. So it was really just like a crate? Really? You have 258 items. Oh, really? Wow. Can I? I can't even drop down. I have to go back through the elevator. Is it worth it? Now where did I just go to get to where I was supposed to be at? Because this isn't it. <clears throat> I don't have a sense of direction and it really shows. But I mean, to be fair, all these rooms look the exact fucking same. And I don't get what's up with these things, because these- this isn't what the Protheans look like. And these don't look like humans either, with wires in them. They look way differenter. You know, like, the anatomy and the structure is meant to look somewhat humanoid, but it's obviously not. They look almost like, uh... The octopus guys in D&D &D that I can't remember the name of, that put the tadpoles in your eyelid and then you have a ton of octopus babies. You know, it, it's exactly what uh, Davy Jones looks like in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the door from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Woo. Oh, they already got a big guy. Alright, death prime looking ass. Damn, I didn't kill him fast enough. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's just chasing me! Bitch, get out of here! Thank you. God. There's more! <laughs> My god. Thank you, Garrus. Very cool. We're pinned! We're pinned! Armature repair station. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, fucking heat. Decryption. Oh no, why did I do that? Oh wait, he's my friend. <gasps> oh my god. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <coughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, here we go. There's two of them? Oh yeah, this is- this is good. This is Gucci. Alright. Okay. It's one more. Is that it? Look at him! Look at her big guy! Oh my god, I love him! Oh, there's another repair station here? 
How many of them can we wake up? Wake up! You ever just put on a little makeup? Put me in the second ring. I belong there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get up, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's four. That's four boys. Look at our beautiful sons. Look at him. Look at my beautiful son. Look at my beautiful- Zoom in. Look at my beautiful son. Why is it zooming out every time I zoom in? I can't believe it. Precious baby boys. What's this? A crate? I doubt there's gonna be anything in here, but I'm going to overwrite it anyways. Thank you. Just for the... You know. Just another elevator. I don't think we're allowed to go in there though. Damn. I woke up all the boys! What else do they want from me? Side. Security panel. Okay. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Is a Prothean. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. Uh-oh. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. I'm the only one who understands Incredible. it. Incredible. The Cypher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. <laughs> when Javik gets on board and no one can understand what he's fucking Secret saying. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Old Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. So they ran into the archives because they thought it was their last hope. How the fuck does Javik survive? The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Cannot be stopped. I don't think there should be anything on the top floor up here, yeah. It's just a really good vantage point, which worries me. Because <laughs> usually that means that things are about to fucking spawn on top of us, you know. As they do. Actually, I'm gonna save it. Elos 68. Trick shot. Let's get moving. It's just about. It's only been an hour. And we're already like in the home stretch. Like, bada 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 home stretch. I can't be believe the Protheans got genocided. Can't be me. <laughs> I'm built different. <laughs> oh, this is back where we started. Where the fuck are we going? Back to where we started. Yeah? Yeah, here we go. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Good justification for not putting anything in the hallways. They said, make this hallway XL, extra large. things on the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably try to keep themselves alive through 
I don't like that the audio cut off randomly. Damn. I'll need the tailor because I thread the needle. I ain't even wearing glasses. That was like all of their defenses. Oh, my eyes got itchy. Oh, oh. I'm blindfolded. Uh, my little brother has the controller. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, Who's the best quote? Best thing Dunky ever committed to uh, gaming was uh, those two quotes. Well, we got a big shield up ahead. What's happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. I think it's just the, uh... Oh, there's a door here. I think it's just the, uh, Brokeans that set this up, so... Let's get in the elevator, I guess. Yeah, I trust it. 10,000 year archives that are meant to keep things out because people are trying to hide and save their race. Yeah, I trust it not to kill me. Get in the elevator, guys. What do you think we're gonna find down there? It has to be useful if it's specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Damn. I do like their dialogue, though. Okay, so, uh, more talking to the Prothean guy. I forgot about you him. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. And it didn't fucking work, now did it? Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination really upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. I can't sense your taint. Can you step Wait, a little closer? <laughs> how come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. Let me give you a good I have sniff. I translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. <coughs> Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. Blah, blah, blah. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. Uh-oh. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through. And uh -oh. all you know will be destroyed. <laughs> Come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay. The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The, the keepers, keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated, and the Reapers invade. Uh-oh. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity. They literally just take energy. a nap until it's time to kill everybody. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands it's of years so it takes funny. for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, seemingly they benign. No will accidentally yeah, it's those spider them. guys that they put they all over keep the citadel. Their hidden until the citadel relay is activated. 
The Reapers can wipe out the council and the entire Justice for Keepers. A surprise attack. 2023. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. That's a no lie. No order of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, All except brutal, for and absolutely one, thorough. but we know that, and no one else does. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? They just up Our and go. Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Bless you. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Why did they do what this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them. Not in understanding them. I think Mass Effect is the one good example of uh, a villain not necessarily needing a motivation and having it being uh, obfuscated behind this curtain of, you know, 5D chess that your brain can't even wrap around can only be done in a sci fi setting successfully. That's my understanding. Because a lot of villains that are. Uh, more in fantasy settings, they get a little bit too humanized, and then from there, you limit the motivations that they can uh, conceptually come up with or rely on, and then you cripple your own story if you have a villain that doesn't rely on those intrinsic motivations that we hold close to humanity as uh, motivations for doing evil. But in a sci-fi setting, you could throw that out the fucking window, and it actually works really well in Mass Effect. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, 
and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. There was no energy this left. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. That's what they were made to do. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this condition. Yeah! I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yeah. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the conduit? So he can the turn on the mass relay. The Citadel and the Keepers. So he can turn on the, the mass are relay. The Keepers controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. So this he can time, modify when the... When Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored <laughs> it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. <laughs> Saren can use the conduit to bypass oh, all the Citadel's man. external defenses. Correct. So and they did fix it. They did fix it up. They were like, all right, I'm turning off the, the Citadel Sovereign. relay. And Saren's like... Sovereign We're gonna fix it. <laughs> the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Can you help I'll me? I'll stop Saren. Or I Just tell me how. That's fine. It doesn't There's matter. There's a data file in my. I met Max Paragon. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. All right, we don't really need to know anything Saren's more. The one answer. you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I'm glad you stopped us for 30 minutes. Thanks a whole lot. I thought I saw a like, really nice weapon. But I guess we just already have really high level weapons, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I did. 69! Nice. Seemingly benign species. Good points, boys. All very important information. I don't see anything just yet. I can press all these buttons at once and just have a big shaky screen. <laughs> My god, this goes on forever. 
We need some sort of buffer to make this game feel longer than it is. But also, if you personally drive through all of these, uh... All of these dead Protheans, maybe you'll think about genocide a little bit much, too. And how bad it is. Oh. Is it... This was the wrong way. <gasps> we went the wrong way. Thanks, Mako. Please, are you kidding? Is this how it ends? Please? <laughs> Good thing I just saved it, huh? 69. <laughs> I don't think there was a there was a way for it to flip itself on the hallway. That was a little bit uh That was a little bit of a bad angle to flip upside down at. Maybe you get the dialogue again? So many races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. So we're actually going... This way. Yes. I'm stuck. Ouch. Oh my god. Let's go. I don't know if we can go this way. Yeah, it's not gonna. Oh, 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 oh! That didn't seem like I was supposed to be able to do that. gotta walk all this way. Come on, guys. Just... We're just here to fight a boss. We don't have to... I know it's cool. I know the archives are cool. I'm just... Oh, holy shit. Woo! Woo! I really hope I wasn't supposed to have the Mako for this area, because, uh... I had to walk the whole fucking way. Oh my god. Aqueduct. I think I'm supposed to have the Mako for this shit. But there was no way to get back up. Oh no. Did I reload again? I was, it just seems a little silly.
Because we... We barely walked this much, and that was a whole lot. And there's a lot to walk. I think we fucked up. Hold on. <laughs> I think we're supposed to take the walk over there somehow. I don't know how I keep fucking this up. Why is this- why is this level so messy? Bless you. So many races looked up to the Yeah, yeah, we heard it. This place feels wrong to me. And not just because of the gap. There's something in the air here. Death is on the way. Look for his grave. Oh, I got him to say different dialogue at least. So I'm guessing hold on. Hydrate. Yes, I will, thank you. I don't know how I keep doing things that are, are absolutely backtracking on accident in this level, but... Yeah, I can just drive it through here. What was I thinking? Oh my god, this would have taken forever. Please don't flip over, Mako. I'm not gonna have a good time if you do. Thanks for the redeems, Maki. Whee! <laughs> you see, I was still halfway down that slope. Took that to the face. Was there like a way to upgrade the Mako that I just did not realize was an option or something? Because I feel like it just does so little damage and I feel like there should have been a way to do that and now I'm thinking that I just like vaguely forgot about it. I don't know. Seems weird that we weren't able to uh, fight a Thresher Maw at all. Like, there should have been a system I should have had for that, you know what I mean? I don't know. Long hallway made for an epic escape sequence. TM. No, this isn't Halo. Ouch. Woo! I was about to say, I know I outranged them. It just takes a second. Woo! Got it. it. Says there's one more, but I don't see him. Oh. He was just behind the rock. Nothing ahead of here. There it is. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't going to make it easy on. Is this like a save queue? Oh, oh, the, oh. 
The screen went dark. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh! Down, down. Oopsies. It's space squid. Yeah, uh, those are the big. Ba They're actually like big hands. They're shaped like little hands. And they look like bugs. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. Arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? No, we do not, Kathy. Let's go. Conduit closing in 40 seconds. We no longer have the ability to save. Let's go. We're just gonna make a fucking break for it, guys. Hang on. Things are gonna get a little rough. Woo! And we're going! We're just getting fucking launched in the Mako. Uh Amazing. Critical failure is detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. <laughs> yeah, fuck. The car just comes out of the thing. Yeah, bong. <laughs> Uh, sideways and unexitable as the Mako is built to be. Alright. Yo, we still got missions to pick up? It's the end of the fucking game. What do you want? What is this person gonna want from me? It says the Presidium? We're not getting rid of Save 69. We gotta keep that. All right, guys, uh, we're going shotguns and rifles. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the- I, I love her when her butt goes forward, Lamau. Is this one or two? We're still at the end of one. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency. The AI's drunk. This is not a drill. Critical failure. Let's go. This is like the last mission of one. So uh the conduit being active is going to reprogram the keepers to turn the citadel into a mass relay teleporting all of the reapers big ingy machines into this universe from dark space and waking them up we're just gonna go tell them to fucking stop that that's the that's the goal so we're getting ready for a boss fight the citadel's closing they're sealing the station Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Spooby. Yeah, for real. I gotta go shoot the shit out of this guy. He said... He pointed. He said... Ooh, you wanna invade the universe so bad. Ooh. <laughs> he just drives right into it. Absolutely not a fucking care in the world. I'm in. They're gonna touch tips. Turns out the Citadel was actually made for the Reapers to just conveniently hop back whenever they want to wipe out all sentient life. Big scorpion boys, let's go. We 
It's like when a bug lands on your finger. fucking huge. I mean, it is like the capital of the universe, but it's just fucking huge. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, boys. We're just walking up the side of the building. just see him right here. Get going. What if the Citadel still thinks the Reapers are the Reapers? To, for all they know, they're getting invaded by a bunch of ships. I don't. I don't know if they know the Reapers are just. I mean, they should know that the Reapers are sentient ships, but they might be like, hmm, this is unrelated, actually. Oh, that was the wrong thing. I'm about to get absolutely ran at. Oh, shit. I cannot fucking see. Please, use a skill for the love of God. God, I was getting stuck between him and the fucking wall. Alright, shield. Oh my god, he's right in front of my face. Oh, there's no wall to hide behind here like I thought there was. I feel a little silly. way that means this is the way we're going I guess. Can I please thank you. Woo Damn. Shield regen really sad in a minute. I'm busy. I haven't saved in a while. I feel a little Oh I'm not able to. I was gonna say I feel a little anxious. Oh, now I'm able to. All right. All right, save on Citadel. 70. this one. Who is that? Well, 
I chose the wrong weapon, but it worked out, I guess. Can I have my shields back? Not until some guys run the fuck at you. I think we're almost to uh, an objective. Turning that shit on. Is there another one? I'm going for it. Two defense turrets. Let's go. Get that motherfucker. Alright, you're on snipers. I don't think there's anything else to... Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm going for the last one. Cover me! Or don't! everything on these guys because I fucking hate Krogan warlords I'm gonna run the fuck at you in the last second fuck is he just like is he stuck what the hell Dance, fuck your dance. He you never had a chance. Oh, is there one hiding up here? <clears throat> Them firing at the wall seems to imply. That's right. Eat it. He's about to shoot me with a rocket. Oh, damn. And it didn't work. What do we need him? He's so <laughs> How are you so small? <laughs> okay. And no one even knew it was really only you. Am I too close to the enemies to save? Hold on. Oh well, whatever. Famous last words. Oh, oh, those are anti-air guns against us. Okay, he's back in sniper. Good job, Garrus. Are those... I don't understand. Okay, maybe they are. They seem to be very aimed at me, actually. I was incorrect. I need to hide. This is gonna take a real hot minute. Okay, uh... Is he down, really? Okay, Rex, stand up. Now... Garrus, really? Are you fucking kidding me? Why can Rex still not use any skills? Oh, Garrus. <laughs> there he goes. Alright. I'm 
I'm not here. I'm gonna use... Assassination. That might help a little bit. Don't I have Carnage? I guess it's... Oh, I don't think I can use it with this weapon, can I? I can get about two shots in per shot of theirs. Is Unity back up? Alright. Garrus is alive. Cool. There's one more anti-air gun. I'm assuming it's gonna be shooting at us and yep. Alright, can we uh overload and then damping and then I don't know, assassination. Just, like, use all the stuff you have. There we go. Oh, we got a level up. Okay, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, go, go. Assault rifles. Throw. Mm. Let's do more throw. Uh... I'm gonna do that, and that, and you can do weapon damage, because I think maybe that's, maybe that's something we've been a little bit caught up on. Literally eat it. And we can save again, so. I figure while we're here. I'm assuming running down here is where we're supposed to go next since there's all these fucking shields. Yeah, look, it shows on the map. Excess hatch! We're back inside! Music is so fucking loud. Oh no, Saren time. Oh, there's a med kit right here, just for me. Thank you, we have eight. Do you think that'll be enough? Oh, he got him already. Come on. Sorry, that was just too perfect. I had to do it. Somebody has a rocket launcher. And there's someone up here. That must be the person with the rocket launcher. Come on. Come on. My cat's gonna think it's not in here now. Oh, she's not in here. Cool. Alright. Let's go. Eight seems like a lot. Yeah, it, it does. I feel like I haven't used more than like two at most, even in boss battles. And maybe that was like the last fight against Saren that I used it in. It teleports behind you. Your ugly little disc grenade is gonna be nothing, Saren. Nothing. I'm afraid. Make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final <laughs> confrontation. <laughs> Shepard just sounds so fucking irritated. Place. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. <laughs> we Vermeer, know he's insane, I guys. Stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted 
to strengthen my resolve. Now my oh. doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. <laughs> then, uh, and you will. <laughs> Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. I thought that not was the end the of it. Protheans, not by you. The cycle always continues. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. When you try to we can't stop roll it, persuasion on a fucking boss. You saw, you saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... for <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Kill yourself. It's not over I shouldn't yet. say that. You it's going to be a sound yourself. bit. Nobody clipped that. Bye, <laughs> Oh wait, he did it! <laughs> no one clip that! <laughs> no one clip that! Don't do it! <laughs> Where's my boss battle? Where's my boss battle? That's it? Was there like a, a version where I got to fight him? I Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications Is Is that a D &D? That's funny. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Mm, let's use Death Swords and kill the Gifter! <laughs> okay, so... We can either save the Council, who's in the pod, or we can just let them fucking die. Including those two Asari that we got to see earlier that are, I think, still alive, actually. I think this is a neutral option. Uh, cause either way, you're concentrating on Sovereign. I believe this is a neutral option. It should be good. Wait until those arms open, Joker. <laughs> we need all our ships focused Never on mind. Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. I hope you know what you're doing, human. Don't let the Council die in vain. I didn't realize there were two options to let the Council die, and only one to <laughs> save them. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat. I was going to save them, but I didn't want to reload my save, so uh, whatever. Killing Sovereign is the most important thing. <laughs> Someone was telling me about their session where um, a lich gave them a fake wish spell and then just fucking killed one of their party members. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really funny. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Oof. Oof, there goes the council ship. Make sure he's dead. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Wait, shit. Oh my god. He's just gonna get up. I was thinking. I was like, that's weird. There's not a boss fight? That seems a little- that seems a little odd. Seems a little silly. The robot's gonna take control of his fucking body. Isn't it? Isn't it? No? I don't know, man. He's like 50% synthetic. He's dead. We're gonna turn- Never turn your back on the body! Never turn your back on the body! Here we go, there's some artificial cover in this area. Obviously we're meant to fight him here. Oh, what? Oh. Woo! Break your back, damn. Getting super synthetic. The infection is spreading. <laughs> he looks so fucking wonky. Uh, it's like a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic, a splice of flesh and mechanical. And he's and he can jump. I am sovereign. And this station all right, all right. I need the. Alright, stop leaping around. I hate this fucking thing. Alright, guys, use abilities on him, and I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Use. How is everything recharging for you? God, he just has so much shield. Why is he just sitting there? Oh, that's cheating. Put your little... Oh, hello. Oh, did we survive long enough? Or is this like a cutscene halfway through the fucking battle for some reason? Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the Joker cost. said, I fucking got this. Oh yeah, we, we, we hit, hit the halfway point of the boss already? Insane. I am taking damage. What am I taking? Woo! Alright, get some cover. Get your shields back up. I hate that we can't concentrate fire on the boss because all these stupid little fuckers came out of the woodwork. Stop renewing your fucking shield. Oh, my weapon. Damn. Whatever the hell you're doing, I needed to fucking stop. Alright, I'm gonna get... Wake up. Got to put on a little makeup. Oh. All right, it's just the boss now. But his shields are back up, which is obnoxious, but it's doable. Have like an auto kill command, like that other, like those random fucking death turrets. Where'd he go? Oh, he's summoning more guys. Cut it out. Why does he not really do any damage? Where'd he go? I feel like I'm taking more fire from the cap. Just shoot Saren, actually. Ooh! That's gonna hurt. And it didn't. Wow. Oh, damn. He's actually doing damage or something. Hmm. 
Damn, that killed him. Bye. Absolutely fucks up the ship. When you download your consciousness into a frail little body, trying to keep Shepard down for no reason because you're a big, strong spaceship outside, you Nails lose. Get it with everything we got. Sovereign's problem was putting faith in the same organics he was trying to destroy. in that tower, huh? Damn. <laughs> Did the council die? Uh, yeah, because two out of the three options was to let them die, so. Oh well. Like, the neutral and the renegade option were both to let them die, so... It was to not focus on them as a, like, cause at, at that point, focusing on them was, like, political. It wasn't actually to help save more people. It was the trolley problem. Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Except on one side of the tracks, it's a bunch of people who tried to, uh, let the galaxy it's die. <laughs> it's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ooh. Yeah, no second game, Lamau. The council just gets replaced in the second game. It's very interesting. They just swap it out, and you don't really interact with them that much, so it's not a big deal. Like I said, you don't work for the Citadel anymore because of a technical error. Nothing bad ever happens to the Shepherds. We got your message, Ambassador. That's it, that's the game. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my <laughs> teeth still in place. You should They're not friends anymore. <laughs> if the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. Was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. Nothing better ever happens to the Kennedys. <laughs> the the Shepherds isn't the well. Well, I mean, okay. They can't rebuild without us. Also, we yeah, we're still doing a giveaway. In forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the council, but lead it. That's a whole different story. So now the, the council's gonna have humans. Scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Our strength. The ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. So I can pick Captain Anderson to be on the council, or I can pick 
Ambassador Udina, who's talking to me right now. Sus. I can put Cap- Udina's gonna be mad at me, but I can put Captain Anderson on the council. And I think I will. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military Bam. experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. Get you jealous. Make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? The man who assaulted you in your ready. office is now the leader of the council. Do what do you can. do? So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Woo! Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. <coughs> with the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reaper's return and drive them back into dark space. I'm just gonna zoom in on Shepard here. <laughs> Music though. That's it. Um. So now there is a uh, save file marked as complete. So we're gonna exit to the launcher. Um. Let me do something real quick though that I probably should have done earlier but did not think to do. I should put that I'm doing a giveaway in my Twitch stream title while I'm doing this and then I'll go ahead and edit it for Mass Effect 2 and we're gonna jump right in for a few hours and uh <laughs> get right into that so let's see here video producer dream manager oh excuse me this might be now a good time to take a break too uh maybe I'll get some more water or a sodi fix some sprite and if you guys want something to... And then we're just gonna do... Let's go ahead and update that, and then we're gonna take a uh, short siesta. So let's go get snacks. Uh, God, it's so loud in my headphones. I'm just gonna turn it. Wait, I feel like it's because of. No, that's not right. It's loud in my headphones no matter what I do, so I don't know. I just don't want it to be like louder than me. So it should be updated now. Uh, I'm gonna go get myself a sodi, and uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. Let me let me um. Bop. Thank you. 
turn. Oop. I made myself some tea. I thought that would be a little bit healthier before bed. But I'll give you size. I'll give you guys another second to come back. put us back in the character creation screen and then allow us to import, so. Man, look at all of those companions. You really fill up the ship full of people. <laughs> no, 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 no. No water for me. If someone, if someone redeems a posture check, I'll put ice water on No! Tag. There's one person here, and they're not going to do that to me. Right, Maki? Right, Maki? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody's redeemed it. Put that away. stream title updated. I'll double check to make sure it did. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, it's cheating! <laughs> That's cheating. You can't redeem it yourself and then put water on me. Absolutely terrible. How could you do something like this? Uh... Wait, I reached 101 followers. Oh, I should do something special. Okay. Let's go ahead and start Mass Effect 2. Was that ample time to get a snack? I don't know. Extras. Oh, there's an achievements page. And it has them, uh, it's, it's cross achievements. Establish or rekindle a romantic relationship in all three games. Paramore 1. I'm gonna do that. I feel like that's gonna help a little bit. Key bindings, gameplay, combat difficulty. Doing veteran. Subtitles always on. Auto save on. All right, guys. Let's import. Shepherd. So this is everything from the last game. Uh, this is our service history. So our name, our level, uh, we were a soldier class, a paragon, uh, Rex survived, Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer, the council was lost during the Citadel, and Commander Shepard recommended Anderson for a seat on the council. It just gives you a quick recap of everything you've imported. Uh, 
I forgot about this motherfucker. Oh my Shepherd god. Did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Ooh. I one month after the devastating Geth attack on the Council, humanity seized political control of the galaxy, and the human-led Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers' enormous machines that eradicated all civilizations every 50,000 years have returned to quell the rumors the Council had set Commander Shepard on the Normandy Y by the last box of Geth resistance officially. They blame the investigation on the Geth and their leader, a rogue specter, for those who know the truth. The search. Shit. I almost made it! <laughs> Uh, do some tongue twisters, you guys. Here we go, a slight graphical upgrade from the first game. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. I forgot about Kelly. Board is, is that her green. Name, Kelly? We running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Uh -oh. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! <laughs> what are these fucking things called? Presley! They're like Kinetic bug creatures. creatures. Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Why did that sound like the sound effect from September? <laughs> Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still on the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Nothing bad ever happens to Shepard. Caden, go. <laughs> now. Aye, aye. So Caden gets the majority of the crew out to a pod.
Look at that. The cockpit has its own little pressurized area. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack! Shepard, you can't just manhandle him. Oh, that's so pretty looking. Commander. It still holds up so well. Nothing bad ever happens to Commander Shepard. Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs> it's so sad. Shepard's gone. That's it. Shepard's dead. Shepard actually dies. <coughs> That's the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Shepard actually just fucking dies. That's not even a joke. Man, Shepard, Shepard actually dies. <laughs> Shepard dies. Completely fucking dies. Can you guess what Project Lazarus does? Man, the graphics actually hold up pretty well in this game. Especially relative to the first one. Like, it just looks nicer in a lot of the cutscenes. And now you can reach you can change your class, so. Uh Sniper, heavy pistol, submachine gun, prior disruptor. Shotgun, heavy pistol, submachine gun. So infiltrator would have tech and combat. I think I'll just play soldier again. It's the easiest and I can just balance party with everybody else. Your achievement give you access to the following bonus powers select one. Oh, cool so I can get one of these shredder warp ammo energy drain or I can learn slam barrier armor piercing fortification um I'm gonna do shredder that sounds great 
Let's get shredder ammo. So it imported our face, but it didn't import the facial scar. I guess that's just uh, Cerberus fucking around with the face. Something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. skinny they make all the characters like you wouldn't Grab have that small of a nose this pistol doesn't have a thermal clip it's a med bay. we'll get you a clip from damn it those canisters by the door are going to blow get behind cover now get oh it's teaching down, you all the mechanics game you actually have to reload which is a pain in the ass but we'll get used to it we'll have to get used to it so Shields are back up. Let's pick up the ammo clip. Beep boop. Thank you, Miranda. She get she telling me what to do. Oh no. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. So, where are we going? It's not there. Is it here? Or did I just come from this way? No, I just came from this way. Okay, so it's it's left. I mean, right. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Jacob. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Get him, Jacob. Things Did Shepard die? Sorry, I need to go. Yeah, Shepard actually fucking died. We better get you to the shuttle first. So now I'm at a, a base that I don't know where I am, and they just brought me back to life, and it was very expensive. I know we're, we're at Cerberus. We are at a Cerberus facility where they have brought Shepard back to life for their own purposes. I hope your food's good. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Cool, now we have uh, Jacob as our teammate. So we can tell him when to pull or throw an enemy. They're falling back. Ready to get the hell off this station? Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Sure, what do you want to know? Shepard's injuries. They spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? Shepard's been dead for I'm two doctor, years. but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. Best technology money. Why did buy. they make his teeth so large? Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut eye, then bam! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. <laughs> get to the service How tunnels the and hell? for the network control room. <laughs> Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. It's like, I want to ask a ton of questions so I can remember a bunch of those details and, you know, see Shepard's reactions to stuff. But at the same time, it's like, man, uh, it seems really out of character for them to sh sit here and just like, 
talk to each other while the station's falling apart. And where? Oh. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Wow. So now Unity is linked to Metagel, which kind of fucking sucks because it was a skill before. Thanks, <laughs> Big poopy decision, life. but you know. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? Maybe we'll actually I use our maybe Metagel I can now. Shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? <laughs> Look, <You're all> <laughs> she's like, I don't give a shit. Can we please get out of here? Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? Mm. There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not <laughs> Okay, crazy. change of plans. But that doesn't change the facts. <laughs> We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Dude's fucking dead. Goodbye, Wilson. Overload the canisters to clear up the shuttles. Max don't know when to quit. Overload on the crates. Oh. I don't have overload. Oh, there we go. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. We we'll even stole your fucking too. body. But right now, we have to work together. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Codex entry. I was going to see if there's anything to pick up, but I don't think it really matters this early on, so... Data pad. Damn, I just stole money from a dead body. Paragon what? I love how that's like a completely neutral option. And then you can pull. Have a nice trip. Ammo, run up the stairs, shields back up. Why am I taking cover? Oh yeah, I was like, why am I not taking cover? Can't say you're not a paragon if they're dead. 
something help. Stand up! Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? She went straight I'm for the fucking wrong. throat. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get <laughs> British. the British. Yeah. <laughs> commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. Damn. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Last one, Lazarus Project. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. <laughs> two lifetimes. Get it? Because I died and I'm alive a second time? Ooh, that's good tea. I do love the Cerberus scars. Before I think they're you very meet with cool. The elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. <laughs> Funny. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. Started at home. Welcome you enlisted home, in one metal fighting batarians during the skilling. Also, events. do you remember that? Oh no! <laughs> a lot of lives depended on me holding that position. Bad Maki, bad. However you want Demoted. To it damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Revoking your mod status. <laughs> Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. <laughs> it was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ashley gave her life listen. for the rest of the team. <laughs> Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I you wasn't can judging trim it on mobile. I'm sure it'll Everybody be in my feed. I can go trim that it myself. Facility had to be destroyed. <laughs> it just there looks so bad. Really should run. I, it was on, kind Miranda. of a too far Enough of a joke, and then I forgot that he actually there, fucking shoots and I can vouch himself. For <laughs> combat skills uh, I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. God, I love how the backgrounds get prettier with each game. They really did a good job. And the autosave actually works on this one, which is, man is, waiting for you in the other room. so nice. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. 
Okay, so she's refusing to talk to me. Got it. Ooh! This is where you can customize your casual appearance and gear. You have a few different. So these are your, like, on the ship clothes. Is Miranda actually British? I think she's Australian. This is like the standard attire. This is like the little jumpsuit, which is super cute. And this is like a little party dress. I kind of like, I like the, I like this one. And uh, you can also customize your armor. Uh, you'll get different types that kind of have different appearances. And no matter what you equip, you're always gonna have your custom armor instead of having different random kind of ucky armor. And seven chest plate, shoulder guards, and seven gauntlets and greaves. The material, you can kind of like change the pattern a little bit. So you can make it duller or whatever. I'm gonna leave it on default. And then you can also change the color of your armor. Period. I think at one point I played uh, somebody with a hot pink armor. It's this trilogy. It's the uh, legendary edition, I bet, that's on sale. White tits. I don't know, that's pretty sick looking. I'll go with that. Really dramatic, but like in a cool way. Uh, squad is just me, I have two points. Um, it takes two to upgrade most stuff, so. Combat Master gives you more squad points. Um, improves your health, weapon damage, storm speed, paragon, and renegade scores. Shredder ammo. So I could put a point there and then wait to do another point. Journal. Same thing, but it's about the same. Uh, codex. We didn't really go through our codex last time, but it also... The, roughly 1,200 oh, years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to... So it give, it, uh, it's it's just an overview of all the information. Then we'll go ahead and make a save. We don't really need to, but we'll go ahead and just make one. It goes on sale pretty often. I think I got it when it was down to 25, but every now and then it's going down to $15, and I'd wait for it to go da back down to 15. It's a good game, but I'd say, like, it is kind of old, too. It's definitely worth shepherd. worth it but i wouldn't spend a whole lot either. elusive man i thought we'd be meeting face to face i'm just cheap precaution. honestly not unusual for people who know what you and i know what exactly is it that you and i know that our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think that one woman one very specific woman might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Oh, it's 15 right good now? Yeah, that's pretty good. Still intact. How are you feeling? I believe... I don't know. Let me let me double check something. There are some things uh, I think about. Edition features. Um, let's see. Improves visuals, textures, and models. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up something because there are some changes, I believe, that would be pretty important to the gameplay and story that I'm going to take a peek at real quick before, while you're thinking about it. That's visuals. I don't care about that. Gameplay changes. Uh, Mako controls are updated. Yep. Quality of life improvements. Elevator rides are now shorter. Multiplayer is not returning. Blah, blah, blah. Weapon balancing, morality checks. More forgiving morality checks. Squad mate, enemy AI enhancements. Boss fight rebalancing. Dedicated melee buttons in, MA in E1. Tweaking the cover system in Mass Effect 1 to work properly. Combat tuning appears to be a large part of the uh, overhaul. Shepard sprinting out of combat, weapon accuracy handling, relevant enemies now take headshot damage in game one, ammo mods are now dropped through the whole game, weapons can be used by any class without penalty. Oh really? Shit, I could have chose a different class. 
Metagel usage improved. Scrob mates can now be commanded independently of each other in the first Mass Effect. Ammo drops have been rebalanced in Mass Effect 2. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Extended cut ending will now be the trilogy's default ending. So this is important because this was a problem in the first trilogy, and I'm gonna go over it just really quickly. So what happens is, over the course of the three games, you can go Paragon or Renegade, and it affects how you can end the game at the end of the third game. So there was this time where there were only two options, two or three options, and no matter what you did at the end of Mass Effect 3 in the original edition, Shepard died no matter what. At a point in time after the release, um, there was a patch where if you got enough multiplayer points during multiplayer missions, that you would get an ending where you kind of see that Shepard is alive at the end. It's just faint, but you know, it's it, it doesn't need to be more than that. Basically, it's Shepard breathing underneath Ravel to show that they're still alive. So it's not a lot, but a lot of people still wanted to go for it because they wanted Shepard to canonically live in their playthrough. Well, in the Legendary Edition, they took out multiplayer entirely, so the extended ending is now the default ending for you to obtain, I believe. Um, so, yeah. The Legendary Edition includes all of the game's DLC, but does not include Pinnacle Station from the first Mass Effect. The source code for the Pinnacle Station DLC was lost. Oh, really? Their code was corrupted and beyond salvaging. The only way to make it would be to remake it from scratch and Bioware did not have the sources. Huh. So yeah, all the DLC is included in the game except for one small DLC that was in Mass Effect 1. So there's some really interesting DLC that's in 2, including extra characters. Um, extra missions and then in three uh there's this dlc called the citadel dlc which comes with it which is really fun um you get to have a house party with all of the characters before your final mission which is it's really worth it um it's really cute and you get an additional really fun mission with a new character that joins you for a little bit that's really really fun character but yeah, those are those are the main changes to the original trilogy. I had, excuse me, I had um, the, I actually have the special edition of Mass Effect One because most Mass Effect games are about five dollars if you go find an old copy and can still have like a three sixty to throw them on. That came with all the DLC and a bonus extended content disc with like uh, essentially a digital art book that's kind of impossible to view on anything but an Xbox. Uh, Mass Effect 2, I've actually never played any of the DLC for Mass Effect 2. I didn't have any of it, and I think a friend had gifted me the Citadel DLC for 3, so that's the only DLC I played for 3. So I actually, there's a lot of Mass Effect 2 and 3 that I haven't experienced despite having played through them so much. Cut to the chase. But yeah. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide it's to a, bring It's a back. good deal. It's, it's a lot of fun content, We're and if you war. play... No one wants not to admit just all the story missions and actually explore While the universe. You get a lot out of it. Entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. We're oh, I already asked that, if didn't the Reapers, I? If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. 
Oh, because it re it shuffled the uh, you could have trained selection. The Why did it do that? To bring me back. You're unique, not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. Woo! But first, the go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. I don't remember what they're called, but it's just another race of bug people. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's just another race of bug people. So some of these I need to unlock other stuff before I can get them. Um, let's go ahead and do more combat mastery. I think that's pretty good. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on Why this Why am mission. I still wearing my helmet? Don't worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it. How do I shuffle helmet now? Oh, we can do it. Do I just... Oh, I turn off helmet. I see. The rest of us are ready to leave, Shepard. We're just waiting for you to get on the shuttle. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. <laughs> Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Damn. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Damn. The enemy's health bar red. If not, it's immune to many of your special attacks until you breach its defenses. Interesting. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators girl. got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Is that better? You wanna walk over here, Tiki? Wonder if she has any friends outside of work. She does not. <laughs> Miranda is a pretty complex person, and honestly not that complex, but she's nice once you get to know her a little bit. She literally was like a fucking child soldier, essentially, so... 
It's, uh, it's complicated. I'm pretty sure she has a sister. Her personal mission is to go find her sister. And I'm pretty sure her sister doesn't even know she's alive. So it's, she, she's got a bit of a chip Our on her shoulder. to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Hi, Tiki. Negative 50 social skills. Yeah, she's she's basically like trained to be the elusive man's secretary. Like she is not trained to meet people or participate in society at all. To her detriment, you know. It definitely it shows that you know it fucked her up. Tiki, that is not your tea. On God, you cannot drink that. I guess that made her upset. Damn. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Cat. Yeah, she jumped down. She wanted to sniff my tea and I didn't let her, so she got upset about it. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. They would be coming out of the door. I was completely uh, before they take out your shield. That's me, Shepard. Sorry, there was a dog on you. What did you want me to do? Wait, I thought adrenaline rush was supposed to heal you. Why can't I use unity? Cooldown? I never used it. Why is it in cooldown? Gravity's one me, brother, huh? The fuck do you mean it's in cooldown? Telling me about it, Jacob. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Oh, it shows it on the mini map. I was like, where the fuck is it? Coffee maker. Give me some coffee. We've been spotted. Ah! I've got him. Damn. God, you take damage so fast in this game. I cannot wait until we get... Alright, highlight individual modes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching ones, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all before you run out of time to bypass security. Bypass failed. What? Oh, do you highlight it first? Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I can also, like, level them. Damn. Warp. And overload. Up. Oh. For him, I'm gonna give him, actually, operator points. So he's gonna be a little bit chunkier. And her abilities are gonna do more damage. Stop right there! Prata, you said you'd let me handle this. Hey! Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! She said, shut the fuck up! Shepard? Is that. you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our we people got was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. 
If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and uh, nervous around... She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. Damn. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get yeah, the guy's like, wait, what? Anyway. Now no way. <laughs> no, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Damn. And for the warehouse through the center <laughs> of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. All right. Oh, is there a VI? No, it's a skeleton. So we're going this way. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. We've been spotted. Oh, that was the security drone. Damn, I was trying to bypass the wall safe. Let me just, uh... Yep. Anyways. Oh, that was the only one? I'm a little shocked. Use overload on him. On which? On what? Oh, holy shit. There we go. So now I gotta wait on the over. Girl, why'd you come out of cover? Damn. Oh, holy shit. You hit me. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. Dude, what does Y do? Oh, hold on. Let's map that to left bumper. That way we actually can have a quick button for uh, healing. Cause I was like, what the hell? I pressed the heal button and it made everything go blurry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like I was taking steroids. Yeah, good to see Tally after like two hours for us. But for Shepard, it's been two years. Miranda, you are in the line of fire. Man, shredder ammo don't lie. Oh! Damn, we're in the same. Holy shit. did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Oh shit. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. <laughs> Wait, so okay. On it. Right behind you. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Girl, I told you we'll where to go. By the doors. Shepherd, you take point. I don't know why y'all didn't listen to me the first time. Oh, covered by the doors was the not was the safest place, actually. Oh damn. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Ooh. 
dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. It's really not. Overload will take out their shield. Do I still have a rocket launcher? No, I don't. Girl, you want to get out of the line of fire. Oh my god, my teammates are so stupid. Hold on. Wake up, Jacob. Armor's down. We good? Cutscene? Where's Talia? Oh, what's this? Where's Tally? Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, hacker man. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide, have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Said, so, yo, what? You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Ta-da! Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. Bug creatures. The They're flying. Putting them in pods. My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. And the monsters oh. take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. 
What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Mm, dark energy. Dark we energy. need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Woo! Your people Sus. tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. Aww. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Dun dun dun. Wow. So now there's a new enemy type, essentially. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. We love Until the Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no relay. evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? Only that about? no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, <laughs> scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Oh, Finding who do we want to go get first? To work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. This is going to be fun. I'll to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Who do we want to get first, guys? You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Uncle? First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. Well, it looks like we have something to do first. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. Ah! Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Hey! <laughs> Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that Joker. mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? We love Joker. Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> yeah. They aren't all bad. Saved your life. 
Oh, hey, I wonder. Fly, and there's this. Or I'll check on mobile. They only told me last night. SR2 Normandy. <laughs> One of the reasons this project was so expensive is because we also built a replica of your ship, by the way. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at me, my pretty ship. It's so pretty. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Oh. I guess we'll have to give her a name. I was gonna check something real quick. Okay, I have a new emote, but uh, the other one still, the other two are still aren't approved yet. I've added some new emotes last night. I don't know if you know, saw. Yeah, yeah, I was like, we built, like, you remember that, like, top of the line ship we built? We built an entire new one that's even better, and it's really fucking expensive, so. Ah, oh, but it's so pretty. Look at her pretty ship. So now we get to start collecting characters to put on the ship, including all the DLC characters. But now we actually have, like, a real home base. Yay! It's just like the Normandy, but a little bigger. Isn't that so nice? Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to Edie. start. Edie! you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy's system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIA. There's actually, I think. Jacob and I a should return few to our people posts. on Omega. Come find us if you have any that's, questions. I believe also where we find Archangel, our boyfriend. <laughs> I have two favorite spaceships, the Guardian of the Galaxy's Ravagers and Halo Battleships. Yo, Halo Battleships are nice though. Got that Mac cannon. Okay, updates on the squad, armory, elevator to access different floors, captain's quarters, tech lab. All that stuff is a uh, different upgrade material. And ED, of course, is available at a lot of these terminals. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer... Oh, yeah. They also have a special appearance. I think I'll put her in that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, upgrade systems. You also have like an inbox. Look at all this. <laughs> Big flying platforms for their guns. Kasumi Goto. This is a. Um, you get her from the Citadel. This is a DLC character. Arc projector. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's DLC. 
Overlord has been experimented with highly volatile technology. That's a side thing. Recon HUD. You may not want to show your face everywhere you go. Sent by HUD that service issues to covert operatives. Normandy crash site located. You can go scan the crash site for stuff. Lost contact with a survey ship. That's a sub thing. Zaid Masani is another DLC character, but he comes with most copies of Mass Effect 2. Most standard copies. Message from Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come talk to me on the Citadel. That's it. My fave spaceships? I don't think I've seen enough to have a favorite. Like, I'm not as well studied on spaceships as you think I would be. I like little robots, but that seems to be, like, most of what I have a lot of the time. Like, I get to see a lot of robots. I don't get to see a lot of ships. And honestly, the Halo franchise doesn't highlight its Can ships as much as it Commander? could. It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. Design of spaceships. I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. I think it's really cool now when, she's got um... this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> um... I like when Japanese artists take everyday objects and turn them into spaceships. I feel like those are actually some of the most creative designs that I've seen for a lot of spaceships. Is from Enjoy that. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well. Let I can't think of a us. specific artist, uh, but I, I'm legs, sure that more than one of them does it. Because this is my favorite. You have no choice. Choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24/7. I love, <laughs> if you don't know anything about Edie and Joker, they have an enemies to lovers relationship and it's really fucking funny. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? ED is the phonetic pronunciation of EDI. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices. Oh, yeah, he's so I funny when he teaches her about jokes. At this time. Or when he's talking about, uh, you're just mad because I rubbed the oil so that the uh, cameras all look, they're in, look like they're in a dream state at all times. <laughs> Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah, she, she does a lot. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Huh. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this Joker area is. Of the He's ship? so funny. This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. <laughs> I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Oh. Let's discuss something Ready. else. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Oh, I got some research unlocked. We love the codex. Ooh. That's nice. Edie, we have a green light on that switchover? <laughs> Very well, 
So let's go to our, I guess, our upgrade thing and get familiarized with it. I've already got the personal computer. Oh, Chambers. We could talk to her. <coughs> I'm Norman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. You can kind say, of romance her, but it's not the same and you don't get the pair more achievement. Shepherd. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Welcome aboard, Commander. Okay, so let's see. Let's familiarize with the new layout. This is our weapons terminal. Okay. I don't think we would have gotten anything new already. The ship is much larger than before, so, you know. Oh, here's Jacob. He's managing weapons. Bless you. Thank you, Bucky. I appreciate it. Tech Labs. This is the briefing room and communications. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL oh, communications Gimshin. room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. Essentially, two subatomic particles are created Damn. in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum no, I already asked for this. To contact a That's all for now. You out, Shepherd. Damn. All right, okay. Will it let us in the upgrade room? A What's scientist the... is required to use the technical laboratory. <sighs> okay, so we have to get Morden to use the laboratory. Got it. All right, and I think Miranda's room is on this Commander, you received side. a new message at your private terminal. I've, I've really been, like, walking for three seconds. How do I already have an unread message? There's nothing. Shut up, Kelly. All right, so... Captain's cabin. That's where I live. You can actually get a pet to put in your cabin. Uh, cruise quarters, main battery, observation deck, life support, mess hall, medical, and Miranda. And cargo hold, shuttle, garage. So let's, uh, I guess let's see if we did get any new weapons and then we'll head out to uh, obtain a teammate. We'll see who we can get first. Oh, we get the arc projector automatically, great. That's amazing, actually. I'm glad we start with that. That's a DLC weapon. So it looks like for the rest of it, though, we just have our standard weapons. Save. Squad. Let's get concussive shot. And I guess we'll head out. Woo! We can control our little ship. Okay, so Omega is Archangel, Professor, and Veteran are all there. So that's probably where we're gonna go. Ooh, let's do a scanning. Here. Probe away. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. It's it's got like a um a rumble feature that Probe it uses away. for you to research projects palladium is get used these to materials heavy pistols armor and cybernetics there's them right there launching probe 
In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. There's one here. Probe launched. We'll have to obtain more probes later. Launching There's one probe. here. But this allows us to do more uh, upgrades as well. Right there. Launching probe. I believe we've got most all on this planet. There might be one more. Launching probe. Ta-da! You don't remember the last time you played Genshin? I mean, that's fair. It sure is a game. Okay, it looks like there's something up here. We'll be here when you get back. I guess we'll try those. We got some. Oh, damn. I exited the thing. Um, we'll get more probes later. We orbit. But resources will eventually be important. Go ahead and view this. Do some scanning. I think we have a few probe. Oh, we have one probe left. Damn. Well, we'll probe use launched. it. Emolka. Woo! Fuel depot. I don't think we need to buy fuel. Oh, it's going to be to get to other systems. So let's just go ahead and get a few. And then we're going to go... I think those are, like... Yeah. Let's go to Omega. Because no matter what, we're going to have to come here. But uh, I guess it just depends on which mission we accidentally start first. So, Because we're going to get all three of them eventually. We might even be able to get all three of them tonight, so it just depends. But I want to get Archangel! <laughs> it's the best fucking mission whatsoever! Ladies love scars, come on! Archangel! 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 Okay, come on, Miranda. Look at all those dossiers. Oh, this is convenient. Makes us, uh, like, do, uh, skill points before we go anywhere. I wonder if it's gonna throw us into one of the missions, or just... Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. It's a Vicarian. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. So it looks like those are shops, apartments, uh, transportation, afterlife, upper afterlife. Afterlife is where they want us to go first, no matter what. So, I mean, that's fair. 
also access messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. Oh There's shit, Zaid is here. That may have information on him. Do we just want to pick him up while we're at it? Oh, oh, okay. He picks us up, I guess. I didn't even press anything. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Anyways. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. Oh yeah, you, you have to like blow up Beto a bunch of Santiago. people. He's or the a head single of the guy. Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elthal Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. That's Good. his character quest. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. All right, we got our DLC character. That was quick. So now we just have Morden and Archangel. They want to meet us at Afterlife. That's our, uh... Come on, let me in. <laughs> this is the bouncer. <laughs> He's so cute. Ari's expecting me. Man, Mass Effect 2 just has such a better layout, better stripper animations, you know. I think you can also dance in Mass Effect 2. Bartender. Oh yeah, you can get absolutely drunk. Hold on. You can just keep doing this, by the way. I love it. I don't think there's any effect on it. I think you just keep ordering drinks from the bartender and he just keeps giving you the same thing. I think they just added it for flair. I'll do one more, I'll do one more. Drinking live on stream. <laughs> Anyways. Oh no, oh no, the screen is wobbly. Yo, what's going on? What's this guy? I'm busy. He's busy. I can't go up there. This is a private room. Got it. I think I'm supposed to go up upstairs. Yep, Arya to Loak. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. 
Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. She's pretty cool. You never have to, like, fight her or anything. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one ruler. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. <laughs> Five feet apart, because we're not gay. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. That's if you true. Really he also sings. <laughs> him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? <laughs> well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help him. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. That's our if boy. He makes your own laws, which <laughs> everyone here does. He makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help them. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually get recruited and go get Archangel because I want him right now. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Sweet. Super You're sweet. You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Oh, I'm not gonna shoot him. I shouldn't wow, do it. Wow, not even a smile. So you're here to fight, then? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? <laughs> what do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. 
Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? <laughs> Pretty high. <laughs> Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport <laughs> depot outside Cracks the knuckles. club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Save them some trouble. Because we're gonna fucking kill everyone in that room. Alright, so... We go out this way. We gotta exit the club. At least. I love the, the fire on the wall. That's so funny. Alright, so I'm assuming we go to the transport depot. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Oh, so you can cue some conversational details in the background. I forgot you could do that. That's fun. Ah, Blue Sun's driver. Perfect. Just what we're looking for. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you oh, are. I know. <laughs> Get in. He's gonna annihilate me, but not. <laughs> oh, do we want to take Zaid? He is a concussive shot, assault, and sniper rifles. No, we'll just take them for now since uh, we've already kind of got them on the team. Uh, loadouts, we don't have anything new to add, so we'll just take your typical weapons. It's a level one mission, it's not gonna be hard. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Oh, hello. I put my uh, thing there. on the keyboard on accident and it He's got hit the screen. Position. And the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small no, I'll have him soon hard, enough. But we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle. Yeah, but you look like you can handle suicide. To the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens <laughs> out there already. <laughs> oh, serial killer. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first, then we'll figure out how to get back. God, this is so fun. I fucking love I fucking love this mission. I love Archangel. Shepherd, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. 
Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. But what's... Oh, are we sabotaging? Who are we sabotaging? She said what? Something and a mech? I think it's further up. Holy shit! You can hear the you you can hear the gunfire in real time. Of these people getting absolutely fucking slaughtered by him. Hot. <laughs> As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Men are on board, assuming this operation is successful. Hammer all the by for the men. The loss of your team is Blah blah blah. Deliver the data pad to Arya. Perfect. You need something? Sorry, my mistake. Freelancers. That was the entrance. I don't see anything to sabotage, but we got a submission to bring something to Arya, which is gonna be fun. Alright, let's sabotage. Oh god. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a different one now. Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, so it changes each time. And it's not letting me move the mouse well. Blue up top. Back. This one. Finally, God. Okay, this one's much easier. Where's my mouse? Oh my god. The controller's not working. Great. Loved that. <laughs> that should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. So now the mech is working against the mercs. Oh, there's Garm. He's a Krogan. Oh, so that's the leaders of the two places that are. Damn. Ooh. <laughs> I'll take that. Let me move my mouse out of the way so it knows that I'm, like, using the. Free money. Mission where I am not actually in danger at any point in time. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, lady. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Oh, so he's over there on that thing. It. What do you want, freelancer? There's medical station. I don't want excuses. Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints now! Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. I just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face. Over here. 
The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. <laughs> he has great reflexes. What What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration to team- To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Damn it. Khan's blood pack better wait for my ship. Oh, sweet. Sabotage the mech. Kafka. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel <laughs> won't go away. Got any questions? <laughs> Maybe a last chance. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel that, gave her a beating last happen. time she was out there. A few more Ooh, tweaks, she'll be as bad as new. Game. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight, where a go? Uh-oh. Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Here we go, guys. <laughs> Miranda's like, mm. <laughs> Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means yeah, he does. <laughs> Biggest surprise get back imaginable. To 100 before Tarek decides he needs her again. <gasps> I'm gonna do it. You're working too hard. Got him. He'll be fine. I sh I, I, I did want to do that. <laughs> Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. It's an infiltration well, let's job. Not wait around too long. Boom. Boom. Come on, give these guys a surprise of our own. Tee hee hee. She's with Archangel. Yeah, I am, bitch. Vital signs. Oh, how do I get rid of this? My shields are down. Oh, damn. Ouch. So, where do I go exactly? I don't think there's a- there is a way up, okay. What was that? There's a boost. What the- What the fuck was the thing that I could scan? Oh well, let's go upstairs. Oh, there it is. What's this? Incoming. Here I come. Archangel. Get his ass!
god. Here he is, guys. The magnum opus of this fucking fridge. <laughs> Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for... All my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please. It's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Hee <laughs> hee. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. I figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> if I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. <laughs> this place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan. But it's a plan. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> Let's just take a little peek, see what the bad guys are up to. Whoopsies. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's he, give he, these he, bastards he. everything. Here, actually, I should. I got it. Okay, we got a few too. They're starting to get close. Impressive. Never saw me coming. I've got it. Thank you, Jacob. Eclipse marks have made it into the base. Where? survive very long. Is that the only one? Ooh. 
I need one of you over here. Now let's finish you off. Thank you, Jacob. things to, to loot in here. Are we already done already? God. Oh wait, no. Nope. Alright, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Oh yeah, the mech that I reprogrammed. Sending out the heavy mechs. Oh. That problem should take care of itself. The Garrus vital sign staying at full the entire time is definitely the magnum opus of this hard run. Oh, I wasn't reloaded. What happens if you don't sabotage the mech? That's what I want to know. Oh, I missed. Damn, I shot him in the crotch. My bad. That's a hate crime. Okay, I got one shot left and then I gotta reload. Damn, I missed. Me keeping the mech alive. There goes our mech support. Look at all that ammo on the ground, though. Lamau. All right. Oh, I missed. I was like, man, one more shot. Got him. Oh, that's the boss. You dead? Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. Oh, I'm here. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. They didn't and touch you. Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Garrus Duck! What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Uh, let's have... Miranda, stay Miranda, here. stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. All right. Let's, uh, let's equip the fucking arc projector. This is going to be real funny. Open the med kit. Behind the stairs. Like beneath. Oh, right here. Oh, 
Oh, I can uh, edit our loadout. That'll be fine. You got in my fucking way. Oh, they're too far. Vorka. I've got him. Yeah, I got him too. Where'd he go? Oh, I missed. I feel a li just a little bit silly. I really? I thought you reloaded already. This is. I love Jacob's just like running down in there. Like, oh, I got it, I got it, I'm going in. Oh, headshot. Damn. Jacob, you. Y'all good? I think you got it. Come any closer. Krogan in. Oh. Krogan on its yeah, Krogan down, bud. Are we done in this room? We good, Jacob? Oh, there's one more. What's he doing back there? I feel like he's just like the one enemy. Nice trip. Is that it? Is there some guy left? Are they just gonna keep coming? I don't understand. Oh, I have to seal these doors. I'm so big silly. I am the silliest imaginable. I can't believe I fucked up like this. Yeah, whatever, let's go to the other side. We actually lost, like, some of the Garrus tube. It's almost down to half. I feel like such a silly little, silly little one. He'll be okay, but I just, I feel so silly. My brain cells were not quite enough. Get him, Jacob. Headshot.
Oh, my Jesus down. Christ. What am I stuck on? The wall? Jesus. Alright, vault me over. Oh, use unity! Use unity! Why is there nowhere to go? Oh, thank you, Jacob. Garrus' uh. vital signs are down to half because I didn't know how to close the fucking thing. Get back here, Shepard. Zach talks about Judy to the West and and Genshin Impacts. What happened? Uh, rip them to shreds. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. No, you won't, bitch. Borka fucked up. Heading to cover. All right, guys. Use your abilities. Here we go. Enemy charging. Watch it. Head charge. Lost shields. Oh. God, he's running up there. Me taking damage. I would literally die for Garrus, and I'm doing it right now. Oh, got him. I mean, romancing. Please don't call him Gary. I will actually kill myself. Hmm. Garrus? Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out. Sir, you mean Garrus? This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Auto core. Yeah, it, it better have been. Only the blue sons are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head-on and... Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! I fixed it, but not completely. I'm not sure of that. Where is They're it? offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Alright, back to... Yeah, this is fine. Ugh! Now that's the one you need to be aiming shit at, guys. Scoped and dropped! <laughs> I love how he just yells every time he gets one of them. Oh, damn. I missed her. Get her, Garrus! Did I still miss her, or did I... Oh, thanks. The repelling down the sidewall, ground floor. How is his vital signs higher than what I did? Is it for each section, I guess, you get a new health bar? Uh, why are you not taking cover? I can see them at the rear stairs, Garrus!
Okay, perfectly fine. See, I'm perfectly fine. Please reload, Shepard. All right, we made it. <laughs> no! You're okay, Garrus, you're okay! about to Handicapped without our sniper. Uh, use your abilities. Guys, hurry, we gotta kill the ship. Thank you. Yes. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> I was like, wait, where the fuck did he go? Shots where it zooms in, but it doesn't know where the camera's going. I think that's a mistake. <laughs> Mission summary. I think we return to ship automatically. It's 9.30. We should have time to go get Morden. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. We have Garrus! <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. We got Garrus. We got Garrus. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. That's what matters. He's okay. He's uh down on the other deck. 
He he has some face scars. He he got some scarring, but he he's okay. He took a he took a hit to the face. She'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Aw. Women's bathroom. Life support. That's where Thane's about to be when we get him. Observation. Men's restroom. Oh, it's this way. Right. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. They are very- scars are very hot. <laughs> I agree with you, Hollow. <laughs> this is where Garrus usually is. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. <laughs> it was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone. Crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of them. Including me, former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert, pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me Ooh. away just before the Mercs attacked my squad. <laughs> Solid. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the Mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. I hate to see him leave, but I love to watch Shepherd, him go. <laughs> need me for something? Can I do any more dialogue? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle no, of some calibrations. No, he's doing calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. We're gonna get a lot of that. We're gonna get a lot. Uh, I'm doing some calibrations. Well, I'm doing some calibrations.
let's go get... I think we have time to go get Morden, so... Oh, that's the personal cabin. Damn. Well, I might as well show it off. Let's let's take a little peek-see. So we got uh, Edie. We got uh, some fish. We can get fish, I believe, from different places to put them in the tank. We can get some pets to put on the shelf here. Those are our trophies. Private terminal. Customizing gear. Not a whole lot. And then you can play music. You can play different music. Garrus had such a hard time. Yeah, I mean, he kind of threw himself into... Into uh, really hard merc work and like the worst place to try and be a vigilante merc Commander, you received a new message person, you, you know. So I mean, he kind of he kind of dug himself into that hole, but you know, we we trust him, we love him. That's that's Garrus. We love him. He's the best boy. We still have someone we need to get from the system though, so we're gonna go ahead and run back and go get them. And then we maybe we'll look for someone to raid. Actually, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I should be fine. When we load in, we'll probably just be in the loading area. So just uh, oop. Oop, 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 oop. just uh, give me one second. Oh yeah, I and mean, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna feel some betrayal ourselves pretty soon, but uh, it'll be all right. Oh, we can do uh, two different looks. We got the damaged armor and the nice sleek armor, and then I guess we'll take. Well, what does he have? Assault and sniper rifles. She's submachine and heavy pistols. We'll take Miranda with us for now. Let's see what we got here though. Disruptor to get incendiary. Give her overload update. Do I need? Apparently we can't do that yet. What is, what's third? Oh, squad member is not loyal. Yeah, I forgot we had to do that. All right, whatever. Give him overload, too. Loyalty is a system in this where you do someone's I side mission and the makes Dr. them stronger. The Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Is this? I thought the transportation was over here. I don't remember how weapon modding works in this game, but... Don't expect the 
end is not. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Damn. <laughs> Weapon upgrade. This Cyber might be useful. <laughs> yep, grabbing that. <laughs> okay. Uh. <gasps> oh, blood dragon armor. Hell yeah. And I guess we'll get the run speed greaves. Don't really need much else, but. Yes, we bought the, the alien porn magazine. What of it? What do you want? What's behind this door? The IP section of the club. For those with I don't want anything at all. Check out Afterlife's main floor. You'll like it. Source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible is it really all that's in the online market. Received for nests. The council has made formal information requests of the Solarian. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Ooh, salvage. Heavy weapon upgrade. We can afford all of this. Looks interesting. Heavy skin weave. Shotgun damage. Maddox. I guess a plasma gun. Yeah, we'll just take it all. Damn. Clean him out. In the overhead news thing, it said that Hannah Shepard, which is your mom's name uh, in the games, uh, turned down a promotion to stay the pilot of a ship, as she thought it was best to preserve your character's legacy to continue to be a captain. That's cute. I think at one point you get to call them, but I don't know when that is. I didn't see any, like, transports we could go to. Damn. Well. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorcha Task Force. Got something to report? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Huh. This transport was supposed to be over here, but like it didn't let me do anything over here. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Yeah, transport depot. There's nothing to do over here. I only found two stores, too. So I somehow missed them. Somehow. Professor. Where is the quarantine zone? My man. Oh, shuttle to quarantine zone. I see it now. It is over here by the apartments. Woo! Oh yeah, 
I was supposed to give something to Arya. Come on, Hold on. Let me Side in. quest. Expecting let me just, uh... What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. Who is this guy? You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. See you around. Who are those guys? Just random paragon points? data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information <laughs> slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Free experience. Bingo bongo. Oh, really? Arya has a job she needs doing. Yell for some work? It depends work. on what Arya has in mind. I love how they Arya's have to yell. Arya got word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. Good luck. So he's... downstairs? Anybody here seen my head? This is the upstairs portion. I'm heading in that way anyway, so let's try I was trying to find the other store. So I think there's one that I didn't get anything Come at on, yet. Let me in. Hello, Tiki. That was the salvage. Cleared that out. Got the market. There it is. Arrows Emporium. Damage by 10%. Got the cruiser ship. Capacitor chest plate. That's just a type of terminus armor. Predictive display doubles the time limit for hacking. That sounds nice. This actually. might be useful. I'm spending all my money. Okay, I don't really want the terminus armor, so let's go ahead and get all that stuff instead. Okay, so she wanted me to look in lower afterlife, which is like northeast, and then I need to go south. That's the end of the thing, so I need to go up. Okay, what's this guy's deal? Nothing, alright. So we're going this way, and around here. Oh no, this is right. Okay, lower afterlife. Is this not where I was already at? Oh, 
Oh, you can dance. Dance, Shepard, dance. How do I stop dancing? Okay, I just wait that it has to fade out. Okay. Alright, I don't see Patriarch. Damn the strategy. I'm the patriarch. Arius patriarch. What do you want? Rumor has it some people want you dead. Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Aria might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. Anymore to have enemies of my own. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Why does he sound like Pete from Mickey Mouse? Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Now it's just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. Yes. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. So am I just... You were right to come. You return, or have you changed your mind? Shall I? I should be going. I wonder what the assassins actually are, because I don't know. I don't see anyone over here. Let's see what's back here. Door number two. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch says hello. Get him! Oh, get him! <laughs> nice. Nice. Super nice. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve for what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Ooh, speak to Grizz. Oh yeah, that was the guy where I turned the machine. Got it. Is there another way to- Oh! Okay, I didn't think upper and lower Omega connected, and I went all the way around the long way like a dummy.
Mr. Grizz. Aria wants to speak with you. She heard you took on the blood pack of assassins yourself. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked. Oh, Patriarch. wow, the. The things went out of sync. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. You can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. We friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers, a few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. All right, I'll drop it. Better luck next time. I don't know Maybe why it makes later. me sit back down when Maybe I was just I'll gonna get here. back up. I do like Arya Taloak. She is very likable. All right, so. <laughs> Where was the? There it is. I was gonna say, how do I get the hell out of here? I love how this place is essentially one huge fucking club and uh, a little bit of a back alleyway. That's that's all of Omega. It's the whole thing. So now I go out here, and it should be directly south, or partially south. This way south. Thing. I was incorrect. That was not south. So down the stairs and take a right. Okay, down the stairs and take a. You can't take a right here, so you have to go up. <laughs> I can take a right. I don't know. This way? Ah, yeah, that's the quarantine zone. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone, then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do, solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? <laughs> he's a, sure, whatever. more to keep infected people in anyway. 
I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't oh my have God, a grenade Karen. launcher, lady. Get lost. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. He said, nah, I'm good. I'll, I'll take my fucking chances. All right, Garrus, if you say so. But we'll go ahead and just take humans, just for the realism of it. Unfortunate, but you know. in there. The blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Uh, we love Vorcha. All right, guys. You're on heavy pistol. I'll do heavy pistol. Switch up. Rearming. Good shot. <laughs> two for two. They just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague Ooh, from spreading. Bank terminals. <laughs> I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. Damn. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <laughs> oh. Help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you Aww. say, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. I don't wanna die. <laughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if, if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Got that Paragon QTE. So there's that way and that way. Oh, I don't have a map. Wow. Power cells, I'll take it. There's a bypass door. I didn't look at it before I did it. Ta-da!
Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Shit. That's horrifying. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what's behind this door. Bless you. Thank you. There's a Batarian absolutely fucking dead. Got him. Ow. Okay, I immediately missed after saying that. So I guess it's just, you know. back here. There's an upstairs, a very obvious door to go into over there. I guess this all kind of loops around, so... Oh, medkit. Cute. We don't really need it right now, but... Circuit boards! I love how you can loot in this game. That really makes it worth it, you know? So I guess that's uh, our destination right up here. Because I don't think anything else leads anywhere, so. Makes sense. It says apartments, though. good about this area. There's a med kit. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. It's, it's just they the common be flu. At the fortune, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. The He's other side. The side the I disc. walked all the way He's over here. Refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection. sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If Are you, you nuts? 
We'd never make it. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. Yup. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Yeah, I'm just gonna rob them while we're here. I deserve it. Other side. I literally walked all the way here. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Let's see if there's anything over here that's like worth taking. Oh, there's stuff back here. Oh, what's this? I'll take that. Dog's coming up the stairs. Get the dog. I like the sights on these. I feel like it's just so much easier to manage. I missed. Well, Jacob got him. Damn, the wobble. I ain't about it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No. Use things on him, please. Nice Alright, I need to get to cover. Like, good cover. Uh. Beep, boop, beep. Battle right. Good job, good call. Mount that one! Reload every time I shoot. Oh, okay. No, just when it gets close. Damn. It seems we've crossed into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Weapons, there's one open door. Doesn't seem like there's much this way though. There is a clear path here. It's almost a success in game design. Alright. I think we've made it nearly to the clinic. not back off because I want some fucking money. What are you looting? A Turian? Okay, it's unforgivable. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little 
entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, Plague he do. doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash <laughs> in. Your dog. He don't Besides, fight. yes, he do. If we don't take this stuff to Vorcha or Blue Suns, will better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. Are some like dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Salarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Okay, so now Take I'm close. plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. I wonder if a renegade run would kill them. Just on principle. Even if a renegade would like looting, they'd be like, Alright, fuck it. 1,000 years jail for husband. I thought I came this way. Oh yeah, this is how I got up the stairs. Alright, I'm um, going in circles. Cool. I don't want to take cover, I just want to run. Oh, there was a way to go here. I guess. Clinic this way. Great. Perfect. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Unless you want to deal with those max. Free on Field is clear! Ah, Jesus. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Weapons locker. Oh. I can now put them on the- let's put them on the plasma shotgun and see what happens. Sounds like a lot of fun. Ooh, the Matic Heavy Rifle. We'll try it. Professor, we're running low on Tepoxid. Use the ladder. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the tail. Supplement with Butemerol. Now there is Butemerol. Got it. Senesine is the catalyst. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. It sounded like his voice was over here, but I didn't see a way to go. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Oh, there's two little doors over here. I am blind, is what it seems like. Oh, this guy. Yeah! I'll take it. That's where we're going. He's funny. Yeah, he's hilarious. This is our scientist. I am the very model of a modern major general. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data. Equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. <laughs> You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. <laughs> I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? 
Porsche have shut down environmental systems. I'm trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, Damn. Break cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Forcha. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, <laughs> pointed to Borch's territory, looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go, but he's smart. Bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Hmm, risky. Blue Suns, Borch still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background. Wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Let's head for the environmental plant. All right, hand cannon acquired. Shepard, Jacob, and Miranda can now use it. Give me some power cells. Dare to get it? Okay, find Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Med kit open. So he's up to that. We got some new hand cannons to try out. We can go ahead and equip on the... Where'd the weapon terminal go? I'm assuming that goes to the place I'm going. Here it is. Alright, let's try... So if I have the current effects... I'm gonna try the other one. All right, cool. Let's do a little savey. Just in case. And we'll head out. I don't think we have any squad points. Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> Just aim for the flamethrower. I can't wait till I get a different sniper though. Got to hurt. Here we go. That's one. Get over here. There's another. These Vorcha don't have a lot of armor. Shots left on this weapon. Good shot. Oh, the auto aim is nice. Oh shit. All right, I need more ammo. Have a nice trip. All right. everybody right seems about right oh okay one more got it we good now all right we're good do i have a timer or anything i feel like i would for this mission but it seems like i don't seems just a little bit silly Oh, hold on, I'm hacking. Oh, wow. Getting shot at in real time. Taking heavy fire! Thank you, Jacob. Oh, good job.
sorry, I was so busy ha busy hacking the control terminal, I forgot we were in a firefight. Miranda, who are you shooting at? Oh, are they over there? Here, let me just... Come on! Damn. That's the only loot over here. Looks like a Metagel station, yeah. Bank terminal, don't mind if I do. Put on a like a hand cannon. That's a pretty good idea. Switching side Shotgun, off. you know, something a little bit closer. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. I should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We yeah, get out of here, bud. Human nobility. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Cool. That takes care of that. There wasn't another door down there. No, okay. So it's just this up here. Incoming. Oh, okay. Just shoot him first. I get it, Jacob. You fucking missed. They didn't even know you were here. I've got him. These are kind of funny shotguns. You want me to go around here? Alright, I guess so. Hi, Marco. Hey, boy. Hey, buddy. What you in? Nice. Yes, it was. Any more of them? No? Alright, I guess we're going. Right! like across from him in the worst cover and he's still fucking missing. This guy is the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. I've, I've seen some bad shots. I'm one of them. to Vorja. <laughs> Guys, use your abilities. You have them for a reason.
I love how they all look and sound like the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man movie from the early 2000s. Really is the peak of character design. Get rid of those. Nothing to see over here. Alright, guess we're going this way. Ventilation control, sounds about right. Maki, go sleepy. Good night, Maki. I'll probably go raid somebody after this. It's getting late. Sleep well, Maki. Oh. We'll see you later. things. Ooh. We're close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fan. Damn, I need to pick up some ammo. Enough of this. <laughs> Collectors <laughs> want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Heavy weapons. Watch yourself. Uh, beep. And a boop. Have a nice trip. And. Down. Oh, damn. That was quick. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Come on over! <clears throat> Why are they just one on either side of the room you're in now? Damn. I need ammo is what I need. Enemy down. Okay, so two fan controls you said. So I need to get upstairs? Yes. Here's downstairs. I don't see any sort of fan controls. Girl, reload before you aim, dummy. Yeah. I'm assuming it's this way. West fan. One down, one to go. Let's move. Oh, here she comes. Okay. <laughs> Damn, girl, she still didn't reload. Take the cover! <clears throat> His silly little stance is not gonna keep him alive. I love how they keep getting so angry, they just yell in place. Absolutely toppest tier of uh Vorcha. Oh, there's another one. Pardon me. Yeah, I see you. You ain't slick. Yeah, I got him. 
Lost shields. Yeah, snipers, I don't give a shit about those. Whoa, that's a flamethrower. Why can't I move? Please. Damn. I didn't think I was still in the range. I thought I backed up far enough. Real poopy behavior. It better not have me back at the beginning of this. Fuck. Fuck you. Where am I? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I have no ammo. I'm sure gotcha. I know. Go ahead and use your shit. You're done. There it is. Door's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. I have located the fan controls. There Idiot. are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Ah. Firefight's over. Reload. Down to the left side. Hit him with the psh. Nine, nine. You're done! Jacob, right in front of you. He's ducking behind cover instead of taking the initiative. One down, one to go. Let's move. All right, they're coming back down. Moving. Got it. Yeah, I need at least one of them. Got it. Use Unity to heal your squad. Great idea. Except that's not set to RB! There we go. Requesting aid! Right between the eyes! Get over here! Who are you using that on? Oh, he's dead now. Alright, I need you guys to Understood. move up. Move it. Like both of you. Right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to ram him. Hit him with the butching. Probe it on its way. Hit him with the butchown. Girl, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, forgot about these rocket guys. Thank you, Miranda. Good shot. Again, one last. Where's the last guy? There we go. Right there. All right, both of you. In it. Guys, that's not fair. Actually illegal. Both fans are up. That should be it. 
All right. Shoot him in his kneecaps and he dies. Makes sense. Look, it it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. It's like Achilles' you heel. You can hit him well. everywhere else, but Those the moment you hit him on his heel, too. it's over. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Thanks, Morden. We appreciate yes, your sir, input. How can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. I'm expected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. <laughs> We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Yay! We got more than Solus. He's a fun guy. We also have a lot of weapon upgrades, and now we can actually research uh, biotic upgrades with him here. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Is Solis. That, um, if you find fuck? anything lacking, please fuck? place a requisition order. Where is Who's that, that voice coming pilot? from? No, synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. <laughs> the collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Yeehaw! We got a ton of research unlocked that we need to uh, go in and actually do the upgrades for. Let's see, there's him, Edie. Which way was the lab? Was it. I think it was this way and then straight ahead. Upgrades! Yes! So, health. So these are the ones I already have. So I guess I'm looking for a research term. Oh, it's right next to it. Buh. Prototypes. Radium required. Ooh, collector assault rifle. That thing looks nasty, but in a fun way. Cerberus Assault Armor. Ooh, advanced training. A single bonus power. Geth Shield Boost. Reeve. Reeve's using his organics. Reeve does double damage to armor and barriers. Nice. Energy Drain. Neural shock. Let's do Reeve. I feel like that'd be nice. 
Weapon upgrades. We could do assault rifle damage. We have enough iridium. Armor upgrades. Metagel capacity. Tech damage. Let's do metagel capacity. Tech damage. Prototypes. Do we really have that much advanced training? We have a lot of element zero. Holy shit. I want slam. <laughs> Prototypes. Collector assault rifle. New armor. That looks horrifying. I love it. Salvage collector and technology. <laughs> we have an Iron Man suit. Heavy weapon ammo. Eviscerator shotgun. Sure. Missile launcher. Okay, we don't have enough for any weapon. Collect your chitin armor. Avalanche. Sure. Ch chitin? That sounds right. Like, how many of these can I learn and equip? Hello, Mr. Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs, destroyed most of them, returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Oh, Left good. him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, oh. took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. <gasps> Kirihi! I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard Kirihi died on Burmire. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. <coughs> Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I doubt it. Oh, there is three. From Chalkwaz. Done further investigation for facial scarring related to find over matter holds true, negative attitudes, and aggressive acts create adverse reactions to cyber negative implants while peaceful thoughts and compassion. Action promotes healing if you maintain a positive outlook. I believe your spa facial scarring will heal on its own, otherwise there is surgical equipment we could use to make your cybernetic implants go away. So that would it would uh Nala Butler. Aw. <laughs> the guy who I stopped uh, joining up with the mercs. Aww. That's from the guy we stopped from joining the uh, thing. You did think it was a sterility bomb? Yeah, that's, that's the easiest way to describe it. It's the easiest way for the Krogan to understand it. Lorek situation an omega nebula scan the planet for a base the eclipse mercs are holding out for operations hmm. i don't think anybody's gonna have any extra dialogue maybe joker will he might have some opinions about the people we picked up Hadley, i heard about ferris fields any news on your brother it's gone they're all gone but we'll get them back Commander. I assume everything's going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards those letters advise really against manipulating drive alive. settings while engines are powered yeah, and in use, it does. Mr. Moreau. Commander, it's nice. can you shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some <laughs> wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All the upgrades are slowly processing on the screen as I unlock them one by one. I think we're gonna, ooh. Oh, got some points. I'm gonna unlock all of my uh, basic skills. Um, isn't there like a squad terminal or something that I was supposed to be able to use to do loadouts and skill points from? Or was that like a lie that I believed? Not in the briefing room. Let's see. I know loadouts are handled from here. I don't think that includes skill points. Oh, Joker's blunt. Yeah. We love Joker. Life support and medical AI cloning battery observation. No. Anyways. Let's save it here. And let's find somebody to raid. It's getting super late and I have work in the morning. 
So let's do, 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 do. exit game. Ta-da! Oh. So I'm gonna pull up. Uh, let's go on to Twitch and see if anyone's even online this late. A few skinfuls online, Iris, Westies online. Let's raid Sir Westie. I wish my computer was responding properly. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Everything is being so slow. I have no idea what I could have done to make it this fucked up. Alright, we'll be going. Uh, we should continue Friday. Uh, we'll see what's going down. So, I'll see you guys Friday. But yeah. It's time for- it's time for sleep. You haven't met Westy? Okay, well then, it's time that we're gonna meet Westy. <gasps> He's cool. But yeah, good night, Hollow, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>